Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. Let me help you on how to deal with integer exponents. All right, let's start. Okay, let's have a quick review on the laws of exponents. These are rules of exponents. Let's have some special rules first. Okay, let's say we have an integer n and any non-zero real numbers a and b. This is number one. So this rule basically tells you paano kayo or paano ninyo tatanggalin yung negative sign na ito. How are you going to write a to the negative n without a negative sign? And it's easy to remember, right? It's like this. Okay, let's have the second special rule of exponent. What if you have 1 over a raised to negative n? How are you going to remove the negative sign here? Madali lang, di ba? It's like this one. Okay, this third special rule is interesting. Take a look at this. Yeah. What if you have a fraction? You have this one. You have a numerator and a denominator here. And then this is raised to a negative n. How are you going to write this without the negative sign? Okay? Ganito lang ang gagawin ninyo. You just switch the numerator and the denominator. And it will look like this one. You see? Ganun lang kabilis yun. Ganun lang kabilis magtanggal ng negative sign dito. All right? And then finally, we have this last special rule. What if, or what is the answer to this one? A raised to zero. Yeah, I know. You know it. It's one. Now I have a question. A true or false? Any real number raised to zero is one. What is your answer? True or false? It's false. Why? Uh, zero is a real number, right? Zero raised to zero is indeterminate. Okay, it's not equal to one. You will meet zero raised to zero when you take calculus. It is an advanced math. Okay? Okay, let's proceed to laws of exponents or rules of exponents. Okay, the first rule is the product rule. What does it say? Um, sinasabi lang nito na if you are multiplying two expressions of the same base, you see, pareho yung base nila, it's base A, what are you going to do with the exponents? Yeah, I know. You know that you are going to add the exponents like this. You copy the base, just copy the base, and then you add the exponents. Yeah? Uh, let's have basic examples muna. Yeah, it's very easy. What if I ask you to use the product rule of exponents to evaluate the value of this? So you do like copy the base 3 and then you add the exponents. So it will look like this. So adding the exponents, you will have 3 raised to 5. And then finally, you'll have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And you will get 243. Diba? So easy. Let's have another example. Okay. What is the exponent if it's not written? It is 1. All right? So all you have to do again is copy the base, x, and then you add the exponent. So it's like x raised to negative 4 plus 1. Yeah? And what is negative 4 plus 1? It is negative 3. That's why you have this. And again, it's not yet simplified. Hindi pa to simplified if you have a negative exponent. But according to our special rule, how are you going to write it without a negative exponent? You can write it as this one. Yes? So this is the simplified form. Okay, let's do, let's move on to the second rule. The quotient rule. Okay, paano daw kapag magde-divide kayo ng may magkaparehong base? 
Diba? Pareho pa rin yung base. Base A. So, all you have to do is, you copy the base, and then you get the difference of the exponents. Like this. Okay? Pero kapag nasanay na kayo, you don't have to really do this. Okay? I will teach you later na hindi nyo na kailangan palaging, ah, you copy the base, and then you subtract the exponents. Hindi nyo na kailangan to gawin palagi. Kapag expert na kayo sa rules of exponents. And I will teach you how to do it. Okay? For now, let's have basic examples. See? Super basic. Right? How are you going to do this? Um, You copy the base, which is 3, and then you subtract the exponents. Yeah? And it will look like this one. 3 raised to 3 minus 2. What is 3 minus 2? It's 1. So you have like this. And we all know that if the exponent is 1, you don't really have to write it. You can simply have 3. All right? Okay. I think we have another example under quotient rule. Yes. Okay? So again, we apply the quotient rule. Copy the base. What is the same base here? It's y. And then you subtract the exponents. Again, in subtracting the exponents, you start, of course, with the exponent of the numerator. Okay, lagging numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So it will look like this. Copy the base, and then 3 minus, this is the exponent of the denominator, negative 7. And you'll have y raised to positive 10. That's your final answer. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next rule. It's a power of a power rule. Okay, ganito lang yon. It's like exponent raised to another exponent. Okay? Minsan, nalilito yung mga bata kung kailan mag add ng exponents at kailan mag multiply ng exponents. Okay? Kasi dito, ito yung mag multiply kayo ng exponents. Okay? Kasi if it's exponent raised to exponent to an exponent, you multiply them. Pero if you're multiplying two expressions with the same base, okay, nag-multiply kayo ng dalawang expression na pareho ang base, all you have to do is to copy the base and then you add the exponents. Kapag nag-multiply kayo ng dalawang expression. Ito naman kasi, exponent raised to another exponent. Okay, kapag ganun, exponent raised to another exponent, you multiply the exponents. Of course, you have to copy the base. All right? So, I think I have one example for you. Okay, let's have this one. Of course, some students will distribute right away this negative 2. It did distribute na siya dito, it did distribute na siya dyan. Okay? Yes, of course, you can do it. Okay, but I suggest before distributing this exponent here outside, you take a look muna doon sa nasa loob ng parentheses. Baka kasi pwede nyo siyang isimplify muna. Okay? Kasi mas madali yun. Alright. Okay. Can you still simplify this? Yes. Right? By the quotient rule. Same base, oh. Okay? Pero ngayon, sasanayan na natin ang sarili na hindi na tayo like, copy the base and then we get the difference or you subtract the Exponent of the numerator and the exponent of the denominator. No. Hindi na natin, muna, hindi na natin gagawin yun para mas masanay tayo. Ang gagawin nyo lang, gano'n pa rin naman, isusubtract nyo pa rin yung 5 at 2. When you do it, 5 minus 2, the answer is 3, right? You always begin with a larger number. Okay, you start with a larger number. So it's 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. So where do you write x? raised to 3 or x cube. Isusulat niyo yung x cube kung nasaan yung may mas malaking exponent. Do you see? Nasa denominator yung mas malaking exponent. So, nandito yung x raised to 3. Okay, mo wala na syempre ito. Okay? So, it will look like this. Okay? So, hindi na ako gumamit ng x raised to 2 minus 5. Ang ginawa ko lang, Tinignan ko kung nasaan yung may mas malaking exponent. Ah, nasa denominator. So, doon dapat yung isusulat yung x. Now, what about the exponent of x? 
i-minus ko lang tong dalawang ito. You begin with a larger number like 5 minus 2, it's 3. So, yun ang magiging exponent niya. Tapos, tinan nyo, I just copied the negative 2 here. Ito. Kinopya ko lang. Now, how are we going to make it a positive 2? Ano yung rule natin doon? You switch the numerator and the denominator. So, it, it will become x cubed over 1 or simply x cubed. That's why I have this. And take a look at this exponent. It is now a positive 2. And then finally, you can distribute or you can multiply this too because exponent raised to another exponent, you get the product, it is 6. Not 5, you don't add the exponents here, you multiply the exponent. All right? Okay, let's move on to rule number 4. It's power of a product rule. So basically, ang sinasabi ng rule na ito, you can distribute the exponent, this is the exponent, over a product. Ito, dinistribute nyo lang yung exponent sa A at sa B. Okay? So again, it's okay if you forgot the name of the rule. Okay? Okay lang makalimutan nyo na power of a product rule. Product rule, quotient rule, power of a power rule. Okay lang makalimutan yon. Ang wag nyong kakalimutan is the rule itself. Ito. Itong mga to. Wag nyong kakalimutan yon. Okay? Okay lang makalimutan yung pangalan ng rule. Wag lang yung mismong rule. Okay? So, I think I have an example here. This one. Okay? So, to demonstrate this rule, let us first distribute this exponent. Okay? Ang kariniwang pagkakamali ng mga bata dito is kinakalimutan nilang i-distribute yung exponent dito sa numerical coefficient. Dito sa 4. Okay? Lagi yon. I mean, madalas nakakalimutan ng students. So, please beware. Okay? Kapag may constant kayo dito, kasama yan sa didistributan ninyo ng exponent. Okay? So, it will look like 4 raised to negative 2, a raised to, what are we going to do with their exponents? Are you going to add or are you going to multiply? You're going to multiply. So, it's like negative 1 times negative 2. So, you'll have a squared. What about for b? b raised to negative 4. What about for C? You have C raised to positive 6. You'll have this. Okay? So after distributing the exponents, you are now ready to simplify further. How are we going to do that? You're going to try to remove the negative exponents. Sino ba yung may mga negative exponents? Itong C4. At si B, para magwala yung mga negative exponents, you're going to write it under. Or you're going to put it in the denominator. And it will look like this one. You see? Natira si A squared and C raised to 6 sa numerator. And then you put 4 squared and B raised to 4 here. Okay? Positive na yung exponents nila. And then simplifying further, Ito na lang, yung 4 squared. You can write it as 16. And this is the simplified form. Alright? Again, there are many other ways to solve this example. Hindi lang ito. Okay? Ito lang yung sinasuggest ko because ito yung sa tingin ko madali. Alright? Okay? Let's move on. I think this is the last rule. Power of a quotient rule. So here, you just distribute the exponent over a quotient. Pwede mong i-distribute daw ang exponent sa quotient. Okay, let's have one example here. This example is different. Okay? Ang hirap kapag ginawa nyo muna tong 1 over 12 raised to positive 2, tapos ginawa nyo tong 1 over 8 
raised to positive 2, and then you try to simplify, ang hirap. Right? But, tingnan nyo ang quotient rule. Ito ay baligtad ng quotient rule. Ito siya, oh. Ang sinasabi ng quotient rule, kapag pareho ang exponent, ay no, pareho ang exponent nila, you can take that out to have this. Diba? Nilabas yung n. Diba? You can do that. And then, this is the numerator and this is the denominator. Same here. Pareho ang exponent. So, you can take this out. O, para makita nyo, ganito. Diba? Tinake out nyo, nilabas nyo ang negative 2, and then may iwan ang 12 and 8 inside. And then, you can simplify this, right? 12 is 4 times 3. 8 is 4 times 2. So, you can cancel out 4. And then, you're going to have 3 over 2 na lamang. And of course, you have still have a negative 2 here. How are you going to make it positive? Switch the numerator and the denominator. You're going to have 2 over 3 raised to positive 2. And now you're ready to distribute the exponent. What do you have? What do you get? You'll have 2 squared over 3 squared, which is simply... 4 over 9. Alright? So, we're done with the rules of exponents. But before we proceed to more practice exercises, let's have this important note. This one. Bakit ko nilagay yan as important note? I want you to remember that you can only distribute exponents. Diba? Distribute nyo siya dun sa A at saka sa B. Same here. Right? You can only distribute exponents over multiplication and over division. Let me give you this warning. Okay? You cannot distribute the exponent over addition. You can do like you cannot do like a raised to n plus b raised to n. You cannot have that. You cannot distribute the exponent over addition. Hindi rin pwede sa subtraction. Hindi pwede. Okay? You may want to recall um, A plus B squared. Right? What is your A plus B squared? It's not A squared plus B squared. Right? Okay. So, yun yung isang specific example na hindi talaga pwedeng i-distribute ang exponent over addition. Of course, even in subtraction. You cannot do that. Okay? Okay, let's now have some practice exercises. Ayan. Practice pa more. It says here, we need to simplify the following expressions. Let's have this first exercise. Okay? So, take note. Meron pang ibang way to solve this. Okay? Ganito ko lang siya isosolve sa video na ito. Because I think this is the best method. Okay? But this is not the only method. Alright? Okay, let's do it. So I think it's best if we distribute the exponents first here and here. Alright? Let's do it. So I'm going to have m raised to negative 3. And then n raised to positive 2. Right? And then here... What is m raised to 0? It's 1. Okay? So, it becomes 1. And then I have n raised to 3 times 2. It is 6. So, that's why we're going to have this. Okay? You may want to double check. Okay. So, this is not yet in simplified form. Why? Because we have a negative exponent. Diba? Tapos, dalawa pa yung n natin. Dapat isang n na lang ang makikita natin. How are we going to do that? Itong n, madali lang, no? Oh, multiplying with the same base. Copy the base and then you are the exponent. So, you'll have n raised to 8. And then, how are you going to make it um, positive? This one. Ilalagay nyo sa denominator. And this is our final answer. Okay? 
Okay, let's have exercise number two. Okay? You may want to write it in this way. Yung magkakasama, yung mga magkaka pareho. Like that. Okay? So I do like 18 divided by 9, it's 2. And then what about a squared over a? You may want to recall the quotient rule or yung tinuro ko sa inyo. Saan ba mas malaki yung exponent ni a? Sa taas. So sure kayo na nasa taas yung a. Okay? And then you get the difference of their exponent. So it's 3 minus 1, you, you have 2. So it's a squared. Dito yung susulat ang a squared sa taas. What about for b? Nandito yung mas mataas, di ba, na exponent. So, in the denominator. So, nandito dapat si B. Ano exponent ni B? You get the difference of 5 and 1. You get 4. So, you have B raised to 4 in the denominator. That's why you have that as your final answer. See? So, actually, kahit hindi nyo ito gawin, itong extra step na to. Yeah? If you're good enough, you can simply um, jump from this, from the given, to the final answer. Kasi madali lang naman, right? 18 divided by 9 is 2, right? A squared divided by A. Diba? Nandito naman yung mas malaking A. So, dito nyo ilalagay yung A squared sa taas, diba? And for the B is, andito naman yung mas malaking B. So, nasa baba. And then you subtract the exponent, you have B raised to 4. Sa baba. Okay? Kapag expert na kayo, kaya nyo, kayang-kaya nyo na to. Let's have exercise number three. Medyo complicated, no? Tapos, you imagine, if you distribute this exponent, itong two, distribute nyo sa loob, you're going to have what? 32 squared. Ang hirap. It's like 32 times 32. Palaki yung number, right? Okay? Pero kung hindi nyo maisip yung isa-suggest ko, okay lang din kung i-distribute nyo muna itong 2 dito. Pero ang best way to do it is, tingnan nyo, pareho yung exponent, right? Ng numerator at ng denominator. Okay? 2, sila pareho. Okay? Anong sabi doon sa um, power of a quotient rule? You can take that same exponent out. Ito take out natin siya in this way. Ayan o. Oh. Okay? Tapos, tingnan nyo yung natira sa loob. You can simplify this, right? Kasi what is 32 divided by 8? It's 4, di ba? So, may 4 kay dito. What else? What about for the x? Kita nyo, may x cube. Where do you write x cube? In the denominator. What about for y? You'll have y na lamang. Kasi 3 minus 2, it's 1. So, you have y. And then for the z, you have z raised to 4 minus 1, it's 3. Z cube. Where do you put z cube? In the numerator, kasi nandun yung mas malaking exponent ng z. Right? Ito yung simplified nung nasa loob. You may want to double check. 32 divided by 8, it's 4. And then for x, yung x cube ilalagay ko sa ilalim kasi nandun yung mas malaking exponent. And then for y, it's only y raised to 1. And then for z, I have z cubed in the numerator also. Okay? And then I just copied 2 here. And then you are now ready to distribute the exponent. Okay? So don't forget that you have a numerical coefficient here. It distribute din ninyo ang exponent dito. So you're going to have 4 squared, y squared, z raised to 6, and x raised to 6. Alright? That's why you have that. Okay, let's have this fourth exercise. Okay? 
daming negative exponents. Okay? Kapag ganyan, gawin nyo muna ng positive yung mga exponents. Okay? O syempre, yung iba, i-distribute itong exponent dito. Pero yun nga, um, ako kasi, I try to simplify everything muna inside the parentheses. Okay? Sige nga, um, sino yung pupunta sa denominator tapos sino naman yung pupunta sa numerator? Kita nyo, itong 4 raised to negative 1 and x raised to negative 2, you can make it like with positive exponents by writing them in the denominator. While 2 raised to negative 1 and y raised to negative 5, you can make it positive yung exponents nila by writing them in the numerator. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan nyo, ito yung itsura niya. You see? Yung y squared, hindi ko na siya nilipat. Okay? Ito siya, oh, y squared. Okay? Tapos saan galing ang 2y raised to 5? Ito siya, oh, yung 2 raised to negative 1 at saka y raised to negative 5. Inakyat ko. Okay? And then binaba ko naman ang 4 raised to negative 1, x raised to negative 2. That's why I have 4x squared in the denominator. And then x raised to 5, kinopya ko lang to. Okay? Positive kasi ang exponent, so retained lang siya dito sa denominator. And that's it. You try to simplify further. Like ito, oh, pwede nyo siyang pagsamahin. Same base, you just add the exponents. Same here. So, you're going to have, and even this one, oh, 2 and 4, you can simplify this, right? Simplifying further, you're going to have this, right? Kasi 2 over 4, what is 2 over 4? It's 1 half. So, 1 over 2. And then, y raised to 5, Times y raised to 2, it's y raised to 7. Same as, ano, sa x. And then, nandiyan pa rin yung negative 2 na exponent. How are you going to make it positive? You switch the numerator and the denominator. Like this. Kita nyo? Naging positive na ang exponent. And then, you try to distribute. Again, don't forget, the coefficient here, the numerical coefficient here. Alright? So, it should be 2 squared. So, that's 4. X raised to 14 over Y raised to 14. That's our final answer. Okay, kaya pa? Because I still have one more exercise for you. Okay? Okay? So, tingnan natin kung paano natin to isi-simplify. So, I always suggest that you try to simplify things inside the parentheses. Tapos, pwede nyo na rin i-multiply ito. Because this is an exponent raised to another exponent. So, you multiply, you'll have negative 6. Right? Okay. Let's simplify this expression. So, ganun lang. Ito, toto. Your 2u raised to 0, this becomes 1, right? Tapos, yung v to the negative 2 in the numerator will move in the denominator para maging positive yung exponent. Tapos, itong v to the negative 1, w to the negative 2, they will move in the numerator para naman maging positive ang exponents nila. Okay? You'll have this. Let's double check. This exponent, negative 6. This is 2 times negative 3. Okay? And then, u cube times w, they will stay in the numerator. Ito sila. Okay? Saan ang galing tong v, w squared? Ayun, sa ilalim. Diba? They move up. Para maging positive ang exponents. Okay? Okay. San galing tong 1? Nang galing yan dun sa 2u raised to 0. Okay? Kasama yung 2. So, naka-raise to 0. Kasi, you know, may parenthesis. Okay? Kung u lang ang naka-raise to 0, yun lang yung 1. 
u raised to 0, it's 1. So you have 2 times 1. Pero it's very clear na yung 2 ay naka-raised din sa 0. So they become 1. And then, saan ang galing ang v squared? Ayun, nasa taas. You have v to the negative 2, mag-move siya sa denominator. So that's why we have v squared here. Okay? Uh, next, how do I eliminate the negative sign here? Switch the numerator and the denominator. But before doing that, you can simplify muna ito. Pagsamasamahin ninyo yung pwedeng pagsamahin like this. Okay? Tapos to make it positive exponent, switch. Kita nyo? And then you are now ready to distribute the exponent here. V raised to 6, U raised to 18, and W raised to 18. You multiply the exponents. Alright? So this is going to be your final answer. Okay? So you may want to try this on your own. Yeah? Without looking at my solutions. can have different solutions. Alright? But make sure you still get the same answer. Okay? In mathematics, there are many solutions, pero isa lang ang pwedeng maging sagot. Alright? Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Yes, why?